and clearly not the end result you would have liked, but how much of a silver lining was Michael King today? Uh, yeah, he pitched great. Um, you know, and to be as pitch efficient as he was to be able to complete that game uh, was huge for us, you know, to, you know, save some guys, obviously, but just especially after the way it started for him, you know, I think he had a four pitch walk to start ball one to the next guy. And then he really locked it in and, and got really pitch efficient. I thought he used all his pitches really well. He had his cutter going, using his sinker, his change up, it shaped some good sliders. So uh, he was really in command and gave us a chance, you know, I mean, fell behind seemed like we we're down big there early and but we're right in that game we just couldn't muster enough offensively but he did a heck of a job you mentioned the pitch efficiency with king also just command in general something he struggled with at times throughout spring training what was so dramatically different about his stuff this afternoon well m more than anything we saw that guy in spring training there were a couple outings where he gets a little you know he gets a little out of whack with his delivery and gets a little rotational and his you know, the first hitter when he walked the you know, first four pitches weren't o overly close. And then he he settled in. He got real directional and, um, you know, ran through a really good lineup there to keep them at bay and give us a chance. So uh, really encouraging, uh, another encouraging outing for him. What do you make of Herman's outing? Uh, I thought he was pretty sharp, actually, in the first inning. Finished off Hernandez with some really good breaking balls. And then, um, obviously, in that second inning, you know, he's probably a hitter away from getting out of that or getting taken out just because his pitch count got so high in that second inning. I just didn't feel like he was as sharp with some of his secondary pitches. Um, you know, the home run to Vladdy's going to happen. Then he hangs a breaking ball to Gurriel to get it going. And then Grichik hits a hanging changeup after putting together a pretty good at bat. So just made a couple mistakes. They made him pay. Um, just not overall as sharp with some of his secondary, you know, especially as I thought he was in the first inning. Tom Merriam, you have the next question. Please unmute. <laughs> Aaron, can you just talk about your impressions of the offense through the first three games here? Um, yeah, I mean, they held us down for the most part this weekend. You know, um, you know, we we obviously today didn't muster muster a lot. Didn't have a lot of great scoring opportunities. Um, you know, just a little bit of a, a cold weekend. Part of that's you know them. I thought coming in and pitching well and pitching well against us. Um, and, you know, we just were a little bit cold overall throughout. But um, these guys will get it rolling. Um, so I'm not, too, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's frustrating any time you don't, you know, score runs, especially when you pitch pretty well. But um, that's also part of it. Eric Boland, please unmute. Aaron, with King going six today, you guys have to make a move tomorrow. Are you guys well enough protected in the pitching department? Uh, I mean, that was huge for us. So um, yeah, we should we should be okay. Anyone else for Aaron? Christy Acker, go ahead. Aaron, in spring training, King said that you know, his goal is to give you 100 innings whatever way you guys needed them. How how reassuring is it to have something like that in the bullpen when, you know, you're not sure what you're going to get from your starters this year? Well, he's got six in the book, so it's a good start for him. Um, look, he's 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 come a long way. I feel like he, he, along with a few other guys, have really, you know, shown real significant improvement. And, and today, I think, proved it. Um and and he's certainly on our board as somebody that can do a lot of different things for us. You know, whether it's, um, you know, we value him being built up like he is right now. Um, you know, we certainly feel like if we need to, he can he can start for us, but obviously come in and give us that kind of length out of the pen. So how it all adds up in the end, I don't know, but I feel like he's put himself in a good spot to be a, a real contributor. Go next to Joel Sherman. Thank you. Aaron, uh, appreciating that it's just one weekend uh, series, and I know you like to break up the righties where you can at the top. Would you think about moving Hicks out of the three hole, especially while he's not swinging the bat well? Um, I'll go to your how you prefaced it, and it's one weekend. Um, you know, I think up and down our lineup, Aaron included, 
Um, it's guys with, with a pretty good track record. Um, so I'm always willing to mix things up and change things up a little bit, just depending on circumstances and things like that. But, you know, over the long haul, Aaron Hicks is going is, is, is to be all right. Aaron, thank you for the time.